Armrests, do they help or hinder? We're often asked about how important armrests are. The market is cluttered and confused with mixed messages on this chair feature. You can buy chairs with highly adjustable armrests, and you can even buy armrests that attach to a work table. Are they helpful? Are they necessary? In this video, we'll talk about how often we find that people are happiest when their armrests are removed completely, and if they are useful, why that would be. The most common reason that people request armrests or better armrests is to resolve some discomfort in their shoulders and arms, neck, or upper back. If you're sitting at a workstation that requires you to hold the elbows out away from the sides of the body, for example, the arms are forward to type or out to the side to mouse, then the muscles of the shoulders are working and eventually they will fatigue. As you can see from this photo, this often happens when the keyboard is on a work surface that is too high. However, if it is possible for the worker to complete their work with their upper arms relaxed at the sides of the body, as shown in this photo, I would suggest that they can probably maintain that posture almost indefinitely, and in this case, the armrest would be redundant. Further, if the job requires a little bit of movement, such as occasionally moving the hands between the mouse, keyboard, number pad, and a pen and paper, then these small changes in posture are probably healthy. Add in an occasional stretch, and this might even qualify as an ideal job. When we are asked to investigate whether armrest might be a solution, our first goal is to always attempt to get the worker into a position where they can work with the shoulders relaxed and the elbows resting against the side seams of the shirt. This typically involves adjusting the keyboard and mouse height, seat pan height, forward reach, and eliminating obstacles such as armrests or wrist rests. If it is possible to work with your elbows resting against your sides, this change is almost always sufficient to relieve discomfort, and you're usually happy to proceed without armrests. Armrests can potentially be harmful in some situations. They might encourage you to abduct your shoulders, so bringing the elbows away from your sides. The forearms then approach the keyboard on an angle, which requires your wrists to bend in order to type. This type of wrist bending can increase the risk of tendonitis. Armrests may create pressure on the soft tissues of your forearm and elbow, particularly if they are hard or if they are used to rest your elbow in a thinking position. They may encourage you to rest the entire forearm on the armrest and operate the mouse or keyboard by wrist and finger movement alone using a windshield wiper type action. This posture and potentially repetitive movement can also be associated with tendonitis. Armrests may force you to sit further away from the work and reach to type and mouse with your shoulders in a flexed position with your elbows away from your sides. This posture doesn't require much effort while the arms are resting on the armrests, but the muscles do have to work much harder every time the hands move between different positions, for example, between the keyboard and the mouse. To be useful as a rest, you would typically adjust the armrest to elbow height, but this should be the same height as the keyboard and mouse surface. In this position, the armrests often hit the work surface when you attempt to tuck your chair in close to sit in a good position. By the end of the day, people have often given up trying to sit close to the work and lean, perch, or slouch in the chair. We do occasionally encounter situations where it is not possible to achieve this ideal posture. For example, a pregnant or obese worker cannot sit close enough to the keyboard to work with the upper arms close to the sides of their body. As shown in this photo, the worker can't sit close to the keyboard, but might be able to adjust the armrest to take some of the weight off of the arms. Sometimes, workstation constraints prevent us from bringing the work close. For example, a dental hygienist having to work in the patient's mouth, and it's not possible to position the patient's head between the hygienist's body and the hands. The hygienist will always be required to reach forward and or upwards. We can see in these situations that there is a place for armrests. It's better to support the weight of the arms on an armrest than to suffer prolonged muscle exertion while holding the arms in a raised position. Similarly, if armrests are causing no harm, we wouldn't have them removed. Many people, particularly with those with hip or knee problems, need armrests to assist them getting in and out of the chair. So if someone is telling you that you should get armrests or you should use the ones that you have while you type, think twice. Take a closer look at your working posture before you decide.